over three decades, filmmakers, TV productions, and all kinds of content creators have used Avid tools and workflows to collaborate. The workflows were shaped by the tools themselves and by the intrinsic human need to collaborate, work together, and divide the effort amongst teammates. But then about 10 years ago, filmmakers and TV productions had a new ask. Was there a way for the workflow that they knew and were familiar with to extend beyond the boundaries of traditional brick and mortar post-production. The first time I ever heard this ask was actually right here at PostRix New York, here in New York City. And what they were asking for went a little beyond just putting media and project information on a hard drive. What they wanted to do was they wanted to be in the field, but extend the reach of the workflow that was familiar and comfortable, and in particular to extend the reach of Avid's shared bins, projects, and media. Now back then, we didn't really have the technology to do this, and guys like me spent a lot of time twisting and contorting the tech stack to see if we could make it work. Didn't quite get there. But at last, today, I'm delighted to share that Avid has a new technology and a new solution that does exactly this. Introducing Avid Nexus Edge. The need to collaborate and the need to work from anywhere isn't new, but the global pandemic made this need that much more dire and that much more urgent. To accomplish this, we start with our core competency in post-production. Shared storage in the form of a facility-based Avid Nexus, editing tools in the form of Avid Media Composer, and Avid shared bins, projects, and media. To enable a work from anywhere solution, we're adding a new proxy format. Proxy format is a sibling media format joined at the hip to every media file you have on your Nexus shared storage. Every clip in your Avid project will now have two media formats associated, a high-resolution format and the new Nexus Edge proxy. The high-resolution format is anything greater than the proxy. DNX36 could be the high-res, for example. So what does this actually look like within the toolset? Thankfully, Media Composer is a fully integrated part of the Nexus Edge solution. And it's Media Composer itself that allows for this ability to switch between the high resolution format and the proxy format. So from within Media Composer, I have a new menu pick associated with the play button that lets me choose if I want to play the high res or play the proxy. If I'm in the facility, I'm probably gonna play the high res. Or I could play the proxy too if I want, even if I'm on-prem, if, for example, my high-res were a very heavy format, like uncompressed 4K. The ability to switch between the high-res and the proxy is nearly immediate. There's no relink and there's no conform. Let me say that again. There's no relink and there's no conform, and that switch is near immediate. Now, what does this actually look like when I'm remote? I'm home, and it just so happens, so are my two young children, and they've completely taken over the house, and I need to get some editing done. So I'm gonna use Nexus Edge, Media Composer, and a newly updated Nexus Client to connect from home to my remote facility Nexus. Nexus Client, just like Media Composer, is a fully integrated part of the Nexus Edge solution. A new remote Avid Nexus mode allows you to connect your facility Nexus over a secure VPN, and it now supports Wi-Fi connectivity, typical of work from home environments. That's actually how I'm connecting now. But perhaps most importantly, Nexus Client is now more robust and more tolerant of the sometimes unpredictable and inconsistent nature of internet in the home. We also support working in multi-camera with full support for nine-way multi-camera playback using our new Nexus Edge proxy. Incidentally, if you have one of these hooked up in your home environment or when you're remote, that's okay. We have full support for a timeline mixing content on your local hard drive and content being played directly from the remote Nexus. In fact, we have two additional playback modes that allow you to find the priority of what you're playing, whether it's from the local hard drive or from the remote Nexus. If I have high-res media on my local hard drive and I have proxy media streaming from Nexus, I can prioritize the playback of the high-res by choosing high-res preferred. Or if I want to prioritize playing the proxy from Nexus over whatever I have on the hard drive, I can choose proxy preferred. And I can do this with no relink and no conform. Let me say that one more time. There is no relink 
and there is no conform. And the ability to switch between proxy or high res, whether it's on your local hard drive or from a remote nexus, is done in near immediacy. So far, the focus of my proxy workflow has been Media Composer itself. But what if I don't have Media Composer on my system? What if I'm a producer or a story editor or an executive and Media Composer isn't my preferred tool? What if I need something even simpler? I still need to collaborate with teammates. I still need to see and review content. And I still need to organize the project and keep things moving. No problem. Many aspects of the Nexus Edge workflow are available in the Nexus Edge browser. The Nexus Edge browser is a bird's eye view of all the content on your Nexus shared storage system. I can view selects, add markers, do a simple paper cut or rough assembly based on the footage I've reviewed, and even create genuine Media Composer bins right in the simple browser. There's no software to install, just connect to Nexus Edge. And if I have Media Composer distributed processing at my facility, also known as Media Composer DP, I can leverage DP worker nodes to kick off proxy creation jobs right from this browser view and monitor the progress of those jobs. Okay, so this remote workflow is about to get a bit more remote. I need to take my act on the road, and where I'm going, I'm not gonna have an internet connection available to me. So how do I take the proxy media and the associated workflow with me, even though I won't have access to the public internet? Well, with this new version of Media Composer, when integrated with Nexus Edge, I have access to a new copy workflow. So before I disconnect from my home internet, I'm going to use the copy workflow and pull down everything I need onto a local hard drive and bring the workflow with me. From the copy window, I can copy the proxy, the renders, the bins themselves, and even the high res if I need it, and copy that to any connected local hard drive. The copy workflow pulls everything I need flash to flash, as we used to say in the film days, without pruning or trimming the content or even creating new clips in the bin. Everything I need lands on that hard drive and I can take my act on the road when I'm air gapped. So now I'm in Prospect Park in Brooklyn, New York. It's a beautiful day. I'm out here in the ball fields. I have Media Composer on a laptop. But what I don't have is the internet. I'm air gapped. I don't have a connection to the Nexus server back at the facility. What I do have is this. And before I disconnected from my home internet source, I used the new copy workflow. And I copy down the proxy, the high res, the renders, the bins, onto my laptop or onto a local hard drive. Media Composer, even when in standalone mode, not connected to the internet, still allows you to create proxy media on set or near set as part of a daily's workflow. Take a camera card, throw it into a reader, ingest directly into Media Composer, make the proxy media, make the high res too if you want, verify that you have that switchability between proxy and high res using Media Composer. And when you reconnect to a network, copy the proxy media back to your network, and now you can offer that proxy media to the entire team in a collaborative workflow. Avid Nexus Edge is a new solution that ties together all the post-production focused tools from Avid. Avid Nexus shared storage, new versions of Media Composer and Media Composer distributed processing, and a new Nexus client, all of which are integrated directly into Nexus Edge. The objective is work from anywhere and to bring with you the workflows and tool sets that productions have relied on for decades. <laughs>